Okay, this is on the Livingston job, number 53373, installed on 1220 by Stetson. Um, so we're installing a furnace coil um, and an AC. And so I'll show you in the garage, but all this here is existing. Um, part of the furnace that he has, a homeowner has it in his garage. That's existing. That's existing. Coil and the furnace are existing. We're going to add a base to it and then take the piece that's off on top of the coil off right now and trash it. Add a new piece here and a canvas. So we're going to keep all this existing. Um, but then on top of it, we're going to add this, a canvas, and the starting collar. Okay, so... I also gave you a three and a half inch starting wedge right there. But you have a cut line right here on the supply and cut lines up there on the return. Okay, so the duct, just as it shows, on the back I also have a, a cut line. So that wood, we're going to be one inch in with our starting collar. Um, and it's going to offset two inches over. Furnace will sit one inch off the back wall. And um, same place it is off the right wall. Okay, so along with that, off this, I have a 10 inch round. So we're going to add a return air um, on the other side of this wall. Going to add a uh, A flat grill right there. What size did I put? A uh, I wrote 30 by 10, but it's going to be 30 by 8. I'll change that to 30 by 8. Okay, so 30 by 8 flat grill. But anyway, um, so. 10 inch round and we're going to go under the sheetrock and I gave you two 90s if you need to offset up or whatever then a 90 and we're going to go straight and then I gave you a feeding here um a squared around so you can get both joy spaces um right there and then the wall will be a return air the sheetrock you know Okay. Okay, so then um combustion air. We just take out this and make one of these a high. So they have one low and one high. Um our flu. So we're gonna remove this and this. We're gonna put a six by four reducer, the four inch be that ninety. And a draft hood, four inch aluminum to the water heater. Okay, so our furnace flue is going to be hard. This is the only way I could see to do it. If you see a different way, let me know. But if you look back there, um, you can see where our line set goes out right there. Okay, so what we need to do is run two inch PVC over to that line set hole, flat termination. Um, so what I propose is drill a new line set hole um, and then push the line set in the wall and fish it through your new hole, <laughs> if we can. <laughs> Um, and I'll show you why out there, but, um, I think you're just going to have to put, um, glue a piece of pipe on a 45 and push it through and hopefully fish it, um, out that hole. If you have to cut some sheetrock out over there, so be it, but... 
Um, homeowner's not here to talk to him, but got to do what we have to do, right? Got to get it out somehow. Out the back, there's a deck, so we can't go out there. So that's our, really our only option, I think, is right there. Um, okay. So on the gas, so the, from the caulk, you're going to add a uh, three-quarter close and a three-quarter by half-half T drip leg flex to the furnace. Drain, just to the floor drain. Um, new furnace has a humidifier on it. Um, I'll give you a humidifier valve, um, water valve. Okay. Thermostat, I'll check with Jamie, but he has an existing Nest thermostat, and I believe they're going to reuse that. Um, and, okay. So on the AC flush, um, going to reuse the existing pad, but you're going to have to, I'll go over that. Let me go outside and I'll go over that. So, just so you know, over here in this bedroom, you have the fur down right here. You know, if you need to cut a hole here to do what we need to do, so be it, you know, is what it is. Um, just let the homeowner know before you cut it. Anyway, um, all right, so. Yes, yeah, so we have this big giant deck in the back, so our flues won't even go there. Okay. So the existing AC is coming out um, and they're going to do this one too, um, but not right now. But here's where that line set is right here. So I figure um, you know, if you can get your flat termination grill somewhere here, do that line set, but you know, you have our duct right here. So that's why I think that put our flat termination right there, pull the AC forward and move it over this way. So we're not blocking the disconnects. May have to scoot this one over and you're going to be tied against it for now, but they are going to replace this too. Just not right at this moment. So just scoot it up and over a little bit. And then when we redo this one, um, you know, we can scoot it over more. But anyway, so if you pull this up, then our flu will blow behind the AC and not into it. Okay, um, reuse the existing disconnects. Your breaker in the house. Existing breaker is 30 amp. Um, and I believe that's okay. I'll double check, but. Um, but yeah, that's okay. All right, um, that's about it.